Have you ever thought while traveling by a car whenever the car takes a sharp turn you get thrown to one side and why is it so also why is it mandatory by law to wear seat belts you must have seen a ball rolling on the ground stops after some time this is because of friction a ball in rest wouldn't move on its own basically all objects resist a change in their state of motion so let's understand more about this now say you are a passenger in a car and you are going on a straight path the car takes a sudden sharp turn and you will be thrown to a side if the car takes a sudden right turn you will be thrown to the left why because the car changes the direction suddenly but your body tends to continue to move in the previous direction only that is in the straight line so your body would slip to one side of the seat when the car takes a sudden sharp turn and what about seat belts say someone is driving and a rabbit comes in front of the car the driver applies brake and the car stops suddenly but his body would continue to move forward so his head may hit the steering wheel causing injury a seat belt stops the upper body from moving forward in such case and can even save life so you see seat belts are made mandatory by law for our benefit only you know sir isaac newton documented this tendency of objects in his first law of motion which is also called law of inertia the tendency of an object to maintain its state of motion is called inertia due to this tendency undisturbed objects stay at rest or moving objects try to keep moving with the same speed in the same direction so according to this law an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless an external force is applied and this is also known as newton's first law of motion now let us see one more example to understand this law if you travel by bus you must have noticed that your body is thrown forward when the bus stops suddenly the bus stops because the driver applied the brakes but your body tries to maintain its forward motion because of its inertia hence your body moves forward that is you feel like you have been thrown forward we will see more examples of first law of motion in the next class